Hello again, this is Steve Bell alongside uh, Spitfire Center and Jacob Mullet. Uh, Spitz and Guelph tonight, and uh, hey, anytime you play uh, a team that uh, dealt you away, and I know you have a lot of buddies over in that team still, uh, and, and a chance to get back, you just beat them last week. Still kind of special when you play against the Storm? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, you know, I'm close with a lot of guys over there, and uh, every time, every, I mean, last game was fun playing them. Uh, you know, it was a weird feeling at first, but uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, and I get the win last week. Uh, it was nice, and hopefully we can do the same tonight. Uh, I took a look last week, and I saw you sitting on the bench an hour and a half, two hours prior to game time, talking to a couple of the guys. Yeah. You, I don't know, you're a young kid. I don't, you may <laughs> not realize, 20, 30 years ago, that wouldn't have happened. Whether you were traded away a week yeah. or two before, it would have been like, oh, my God, you're talking to the opposition. Times have changed. Tell me a couple of your, your best buddies, you know, guys that you say maybe 10 or 20 years from now, they'll still be pals with a couple of guys on that side. Man, there's a lot of them. Uh, you know, on the bench before, I was talking to Pastor Joff, uh, Walker, um, McFarlane, you know, Bennett. They're all good buddies. Pretty much everyone there. I could say everyone. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's fun playing them. Uh, like, we've been friends for the last three years. Uh, so uh, it's cool. And, uh, yeah, it's fun playing them for sure. Sasha Pashasov, you mentioned he was pretty quiet last week, but uh, we also saw him in here earlier this season. Man, that kid is highly skilled, a lot of talent, and, and he's got NHL written all over him in the future. Yeah, I know. He's a special player. Uh, great guy off the ice. And on the ice, he's special. You know, he's so smart. He's, uh, his hands are crazy. He just he thinks the game so well. It's, 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 it was cool to play with him. It's, it's awesome to watch. Go back to the game last uh, Friday night in Guelph, a 3-2 Spitfire win. I still think it, I, I know that, the 10-4 win up in Sault Ste. Marie. There's been a few. That may have been the best game that this club, your club, the Spits, have played all season long. Yeah, you know what? It was, uh, it was a good game. You know, we didn't give them any chances. Uh, and uh, we played the game uh, right, you know, 200 foot game, you know, the full 60 minutes. Uh, it was a really good game, I thought, for sure. You know, I, I really thought it was maybe the fastest game I've seen all season. Like, very few whistles end to end. If you weren't willing to skate and be on top of things, you're going to get left in the dust. Uh, is that what you guys kind of felt on the bench, too, that it was really a high tempo game? Yeah, especially after the first. I remember uh, going in the room and saying to Curry, going, This is a fast game. It's the fastest in a while. And, uh, you know, we like those games because we're a fast team and, uh, you know, I think it benefits us and it was, it was a good game, yeah. You mentioned Josh Curry. Uh, we kind of, uh, I don't know if it was, might have been Curry that came up with it, the deadline, because basically you, uh, Josh Curry, and also uh, Crystal, uh, Alex Christopoulos coming over at or just prior to the OHL trade yeah. deadline. You're all together in the same line, and it looks like a real nice fit. I don't know if you want to call it a third line because there's a lot of skill, talent. You're very good defensively. Crystal is showing lately he's got a pretty nice set of hands. Uh, you know, Josh likes to bang into everybody. It's a nice-looking line. Yeah, no, like you said, we all bring uh, something to the game, and I think we complement each other nice. And, uh, you know, last couple of games we've gotten the score sheet and, and shut the other team down. And... I think we're just doing our job and, you know, helping the team out. You know, how tough has it been with, uh, with COVID? We've had games delayed uh, or suspended, uh, postponed, and tried to get back into the flow of things. But again, a key weekend for you guys uh, coming up. Here in London, they've been off since last week. Uh, their game shut down. And then right back here against Sarnia. Every game is a big one right now. Yeah, I know for sure. This weekend's huge. You know, Guelph's a good team. We're trying to pull away from them. Uh, London, you know, we're trying to catch. And, and Sarnia can't take lately, so uh, every game's going to be you know, a good one, and we're ready for it. Uh, you've been here a little while now. How good is the Spitfire Club? When everybody's here, everybody's healthy. I mean, Zito's still out with the suspension right now. It's a deep club, especially, I think, up front. Uh, I think at times the defense uh, doesn't get the credit it deserves, but th this is a pretty good hockey club. Oh, yeah, for sure. The, the, depth, the depth's awesome. Like, I think every night, you know, the line steps up, and, uh, you know, when, we all, when we're all clicking, you can see, like, the game in Sioux putting up 10, and... This last week in Guelph, we were all playing good, and, and yeah, our D are really good. Uh, you know, everyone can play in the in spots we need them to, and, and yeah, it's good. Hey, thanks for your time. Go get ready, and uh, best of luck here yeah. tonight and uh, throughout the rest of the season. Awesome. Thank you. Spitfire Center, of course, uh, Jacob Mollett.